We just spent an entire morning exploring the Tsukiji Outer Market in search of three things. Japanese eel, katsu curry, and some of the best onigiris in Tokyo. Before 2018, the Tsukiji Outer Market was the largest wholesale fish and seafood market in the world. The market takes up about 230,000 square meters or about 43 football fields and has over 400 shops lining the streets selling fresh foods and interesting things like this. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Hit that subscribe button and come along with us to try some of the best seafood in Tokyo. Oh, that smells green. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Changing Locations. Today we're actually in the same location, so we are in Japan and it is our second full day here and we've been loving it so far. So today we are going to the Tsukiji Fish Market. We're about to get on the train and just go explore. I'm ready for the fish, I'm ready for the food. I'm just ready for whatever it has to offer down there because I am starving. If you're wondering how to get to Tsukiji Outer Market, we took the train from Komagome Station for six stops to Okachimachi Station, walked for five minutes over to a station called Naka Okachimachi on the Hibiya Line, and then took it for six more stops over to Tsukiji Station, which left us with a short five minute walk to the outer market. So, unfortunately, we just missed our train, but the next train is only in four minutes, so it's not that bad. The spot opens at eight, but it said it's not, as, not busy. Right, yeah, I was checking on Google, it said it's not as busy as usual at the time I checked, but it's gonna take us at least like 30-ish more minutes to get there from here. So we shall see, but I'm excited to go. Yeah, me too. You ready? Re I'm ready for the food. I'm ready for the food too. <laughs> Free map. This is how big the market is. Insane. Yo, the smells are already. Do you like, smell hidden. that? Oh man. Like, I smell, what is that? What is that? I smell that crab is? and seasoning and vegetables, and there's a lot happening already. Look at that, there's tuna steak. Yo, we came to the right spot for street food. Everything smells good, lines are already forming and we just like don't even know where to go and we're not inside the market yet. Bear that in mind. But everything well, smells good. It, it is an outdoor market though. It is, technically, right? Yeah, it is an outdoor market. Alright, let's go get some food. Yo, we just walked inside the market and it's like vast of how much stuff there is. There's private booths. It's really fish dominant, which makes sense because this was the largest fish market in the world at one point. We're going through a little bit of confusion right now. I don't even know how to speak. There is just so much happening and it's, oh my God, I see crab legs. Oh, oh, that looks so good. Hey, 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 we're making a video. Okay, okay, so yeah, so we're trying to figure out where exactly to go, but it's I'm too many I'm gonna block options. the crab legs, all right? It's too many, oh, I keep looking at the crab legs. We're gonna try uh, one of those little sandwiches with the rice and the seaweed and some salmon first. And then we're gonna try some katsu. I don't know if they have katsu. Most likely they do. They do, yeah. And we're gonna try some crab legs. All right, and, let's go. And guess what? There's I'm people starting. eating here, and I'm she's starting. peeking. I'm uh, 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 no, no, thank you. Thank you. So we got way. Yeah, either either we eat or we gotta get out of there because we're blocking the poor lady's business. Spicy salmon, squid. Spicy eel, squid, and like a salmon fish cake. So I got a salmon cheese ball. I'm not sure exactly what that means. Let's see. That's definitely corn. Yeah, just corn. But it's good though, and it's sweet too. It's good. It's really good. Salmon and cheese mixed together. Oh, that's so good. It's actually really good. The whole thing. <laughs> totally worth it. And I do it again. <laughs> oh man. And we're on the way.
way to the next spot, but guess what? We got distracted by yet another place on the way to that spot. Mm -hmm. And um, right now, we're gonna buy some strawberry looking thing and try to get something to drink. I literally saw everybody walking by eating this strawberry like on top of like mulchy. I'm not sure if it's mulchy though, uh, but, but I saw this that I can just try, so why not? I don't even know what this is, but we're just trying it anyway. Dried fish. Mm, that's really good. Yes. That's it. So, I'm literally walking around looking like this right now. This is bomb. This is so good. I'm so glad I got one for myself and I don't have to share with you. But I still have to make some space or leave space, I guess, for the next dish. I think we'll be broke by the end of this. You know what's crazy? We came here for one thing each and we still haven't tried it. Yeah. I just want to know what this is. Uh, it's something like the um, fried chips. If you don't mind, you can try. It. Oh, sure. <laughs> I, I just see everybody yeah, eating. You can try. Yeah. It. This is something. Thank you so much. Can I just. Yeah. Is it like a fish? Or yeah, fish. It's like fish? Yeah. Hmm, can I just see it? Oh, interesting. Yeah. Oh, it's pretty good too. Mm -hmm. mm, thank you. Thank you. Can I get another piece? Yes. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you. It's, okay. it's actually good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I thought it would be a little fishier, but it's not. Yeah, actually. that's a tiny little fish taste. Mm -hmm, but it's really good, right? I can't believe you just beg people up for food. <laughs> Come back here. Don't tell my mom. read that at, around this time of year eel is very popular in Japan and we see it all over we see eel in almost every menu and that's one more thing that we have to add to the list before we leave this market is to try some eel so eel katsu, katsu and onigiri yes and also king crab but I never had the wrong one. Oh yeah, yeah. The sauce? Oh my god. It looks so red. I'm scared. It's not as bad as I thought it would. It's not as spicy. You want to try it? Mm. Oh, it's sweet as well, actually. That's what you're saying. It's pretty sweet. Still in the search for some of the best katsu here in Japan and also for some cooked crab. I just chickened out on those raw crabs because like I, I don't think I can. I like crabs but I like them cooked. So fun fact about Tsukiji Market is this was actually once exclusively attended by people that used to own restaurants. So it was kind of like a wholesale place where professional chefs would come and buy uh, food for their restaurants. And then it eventually turned into something like this where you can actually sample individual items, come here with your family, come here by yourself and just buy a quick bite or just come here for the experience like we did. So this is totally, totally cool. But I think this still has some of that old charm left uh, in this uh, part of the market. We finally found the eel and we're gonna try a little piece just because, like one in Japan, why not? Mm. Alright bro, your first time trying eel? I think I had eel in the thing when I was like a kid. Well you had it before? I'm pretty sure but I never had eel like this, okay. not Japanese eel. Alright, ready? Yeah. It's so cold. Mm. Yeah? Alright. I know. I don't like cold stuff. Okay. Do you like it? Not for you? No. <laughs> okay. Mm. This is really good. But I can definitely taste like some familiar sauces on it. It tastes yeah. like Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire. <laughs> it might be. They like it Worcestershire here. Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire. <laughs> Hey, give it back. You didn't even like it. Why are you eating it again? Mm. It kind of 
tasting like salmon a little bit. Mm -hmm. A little bit like salmon. Totally, totally different vibe up here on this floor. It's an actual food court where people sit down and it looks like a bit more proper than just like walking up to a random stand and eating the food. We might actually stop here and grab something quick. I smell curry and I think your katsu is close. Oh no, you there it is. That. I see it. Alright guys, so the curry is here and this actually looks pretty much similar to what I used to order back in New York when I used to have lunch in Midtown at a spot called uh, Go Go Curry. But obviously this is the real deal. This is like where it actually came from. It's not catered to American taste. So let's see what it actually is. Is this potatoes? Or is it pieces of meat? I have no idea. But anyway, I'm just gonna go right for the, for the actual meat. So this is a pork cutlet covered in, uh, I guess, breadcrumbs and then they just kind of fry it like that. And they made the sauce and then you're supposed to just kind of eat it like that. So, let's see. Mm. This is good. Oh yeah. That's what I needed. I, just eat, please. I need to see your reaction. I mean, you just take the whole bite. Look, you're dripping the food, man, while you're messing around. Are you just... too thick. Oh my god. Go ask the lady for some water. You're like, can I put some water in this house? You're but supposed... it's really good though. Yeah. It's really good. I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Nice, right? I guess I know nobody else wants to watch us keep eating, so we'll be back after the dishes clean. Alright guys, the curry was definitely a success. Uh, it's definitely a little bit different than the one I'm used to eating in the U.S. Obviously, of course, we came to the homeland where it's originally from. And the next stop is going to be to try the onigiri, which is like a rice sandwich with nori, which means seaweed. So it is made here in Japan in like a weird like little triangle shape, I guess. And it's not something I've ever had before, but I've actually witnessed quite a few travelers try it. And I really want to try one for myself. I know it's like a quick snack. You can even grab it here at 7-Eleven. But since we're at this market, I want to actually try it here. So let's try to see if we can find one before the market closes and go from there. Honestly guys, today is probably one of the best days we've had in Japan. Just walking around eating random food. But these food challenges are not easy because we're pretty much full already. But we really want to try it before we actually leave. So we found the spot. We don't see it on the menu. So we're going to have to ask them if they actually have it or not. But it is one of the last things that we'll be trying before we actually go back home. So the last thing for the day, I don't know if you guys can hear me because there's a lot of yelling going on right now. But the last thing for the day is the onigiri. I think I'm saying that wrong. Onigiri. Onigiri? Ri. Onigiri. 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 Anyway, this thing. So what this is basically seaweed wrapped around rice and inside it is salmon. And you see that? It is smoking up the case right now because the rice is actually hot and it feels so good in my hand. I imagine this to be really good on a winter day. Anyways, we're gonna try it, right? Oh yeah. Let's do it. Mm. Oh, you got to the salmon right away? Pretty good. It, doesn't it just feel nice in your mouth? Yeah, it's really good, but I think the seaweed has colored my teeth, so I'm not opening my mouth too wide. It's really good. What do you think? Flavor? It's just so simple. It's rice and seaweed. And fish. Bread. 
Yes, sir. Yes, sir. from the stressful corner because people are really, really, really loud here. Oh, oh, which oh. is extremely unusual for Tokyo because everywhere we've been in Tokyo has been like cemetery quiet. This lady is selling something really loud. And again, very, very unusual, but um, I'm actually feeling stressed standing there, so we have to walk away. But honestly, I appreciate it because it just brings so much more dynamic to this video. So. Uh, one more thing we're gonna do is buy something to drink and get out of this market before we try anything else because we are stuck and there's no way we should be eating anything else at this point. So, how did we end up here? So we walked the wrong way from the first train that we actually took from the market and then we we're like okay let's walk this way we kept walking and i'm like wait a minute we got a u-turn so then we did a little instagram shoot yeah and then we ended up walking over here and it's like a whole another vibe of the city that it's, we haven't seen yet right it's like literally one of the most picture perfect streets yeah. we've ever seen since we've For been real. in japan yeah and this is where we should have started our first impression I video know, <laughs> i know it's so much happening it's yeah. so much food there's like traditional food foreign food and like a whole bunch of people crawling and eating everything in sight. Pretty exciting. This street alone, like if you come to Japan and you like end up in this little section. Yeah, it's the Okachimachi train station. Okachimachi station yeah. road. That's where we are. Yep. It, it's just, it's excitement. That's, sure. that's all it is. <laughs> So my mom is completely obsessed with this tennis player, so we just snapped a photo just to send her that, hey mom, this guy is in Japan too. <laughs> the locals are amazingly friendly. <laughs> Thank you guys. <laughs> We have some friendly faces here in Japan today. Oh, yeah, God. the locals in Japan are incredibly They're friendly. They're really nice. Yeah. I can't believe that we're in Japan. Like two weeks ago, we were in Mexico. No, three weeks ago, we were in Mexico. In Guatemala, actually. In Guatemala and Mexico. And now we're actually on the complete opposite. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> we're on the complete opposite side of the world in yeah. Japan. This, I've never seen Japan this live. Honestly, I thought it's just quiet, calm everywhere. But we came to the spot where it's like popping, like it's loud and active here. So we had an idea to go to Shibuya and Shinjuku as part of the first impressions, but we're saving that for another time. And I'm so glad we are because we came to this completely different part that we didn't really have on our radar, which is Ueno. And we're walking around this street and it is wild, loud, I sketchy, see. full of character, full of foreigners, full of who knows what's going on here. Yeah. But it's definitely a lot of action and, and like activity here that if you are a tourist, this is a must to come here, I think. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, so, but I think we're gonna wrap it up here. And if you like this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't done so already. Get us to 100 subs, guys. Like, we're just starting out. Come on, you know, we gotta show some support. Yeah, we're gonna get 100 subs. Right? And then we'll catch you guys next time in more Tokyo, more Japan, and later more countries to come. So, see you guys then.